Cephalosporins is one of the most dreaded topics in pharmacology because we have various drugs having almost a same pronunciation starting with Ceph, right? So now let's deal with few mnemonics in order to simplify remembering various drugs in Cephalosporins, right? So as you all know, we have five generations of drugs in Cephalosporins and as you can see here, I have written the drugs and also most importantly the organisms sensitive to corresponding generation of drugs, right? So starting with first generation, first let me just read out the names of the drugs. So in first generation we have cefazolin, cephaloridin, cephalothin, cefaridin, cephalexin and cephadroxyl right and in second generation we have cefoxitin, cefachlor, cefuroxime and in third ceftriaxone, cefotaxime, ceftazidim and in fourth generation cefipine, cefipirome and fifth generation ceftaroline right so coming to first generation so the mnemonic here is Mr. Fazol is a lorry driver who is extremely thin and eats only radish however he uses a lux soap in order to bathe so after bathing he feels very drowsy so this phrase if you can remember it's very easy to remember by the way so you can just remember all the drugs pertaining to first generation of cephalosporins most of the drugs in first generation so mr fazol cephazolin is a lorry driver so cephaloridin he is thin cephalothin he eats a radish, cephaloridin, and he uses a lux soap, cephalexin, and after bathing, as I said, he feels drowsy, cephalodroxin, right? So these are the drugs pertaining to the first generation. And by the way, as I said, he's a lorry driver. He drives on National Highway 1, and his qualification is SSC, right? So first generation, we have this mnemonic as i said national highway one and the organisms which are sensitive to the following drugs are as i said based on his qualification it is ssc so you can remember it as ssc staphylococcus streptococcus and coli right so these are the organisms which are sensitive to the first generation drugs in cephalosporins right and coming to second generation we have another mnemonic here so assume that there is a fox which is wearing a fur and looks at its face in mirror and tries to walk on two legs like a human being right just assume this as a phrase or a story so i said it walks on two legs right so second generation and also as i mentioned we have a fox wearing a fur looking at its face so fox zitin face cephachlor for cefuroxime and these are the drugs in second generation and coming to the corresponding organisms which are sensitive to these drugs so the organisms which are sensitive to cefoxitin so you have t here so the organism that's sensitive to cefoxitin is oral bacteroids and the organism which is sensitive to cefachlor we have l here so in haemophilus also we have l right so haemophilus influenza it is sensitive to cefachlor whereas oral bacteroids are sensitive to cefoxitin right so that's about second generation and coming to third generation assume that see in third fourth and fifth we can come or we can just create a story in order to remember all these drugs and the corresponding sensitive organisms so in third generation assume that so as you have three here you'll be having tri ceftriaxone right so the story is assume that three of, of uh, friends have gone to a hotel Taj and they have taxed them heavily for food, right? So three members going to hotel Taj where they have been taxed heavily, right? So three, try ceftriaxone, hotel Taj, ceftazidim and tax, C4 taxan, right? So for lunch or for dinner, whatever it is, where they have gone to have their food in uh, hotel Taj, they had hen, hen for lunch, right? H E N. H stands for Haemophilus, E for E. coli, and N for Neisseria, Gonorrhea, as well as meningitis. Right. So those are the organisms which are susceptible for these generation drugs. Right. So third generation. So three try. So ceftriaxone, ceftazidim, and cefotaxime. Right. And the corresponding organisms are hen, Haemophilus, E. coli, and Neisseria. So after having lunch. By the time the lunch is done, it's 4 p.m. and the three friends 
had a peppermint in order to have that uh, pseudo feeling of freshness right so after having lunch we usually have this peppermint right so fourth generation as i said they had peppermint sefi pine p and sefi pirom peppermint right and to, as i said this peppermint is consumed in order to have that pseudo feeling of freshness right so pseudomonas erysinosa is the corresponding sensitive organism to these antibiotics right so that's about fourth generation after consuming lunch in hotel taj and being taxed heavily at 3 pm and after having peppermint at 4 pm at 5 pm they started feeling drowsy and so they started rolling on bed because of that drowsy feeling roll or well ceftaroline right so fifth generation ceftaroline so as they are trying to sleep because of that drowsy feeling should maintain absolute silence right so it stands for staphylococcus streptococcus and hemophilus right so these are some of the mnemonics in order to remember various generations in cephalosporins and also uh, please remember that the fourth and fifth generation drugs they are mostly given through parenteral route so all the drugs in fourth and fifth generation they are given only through parenteral route whereas in rest of the generations we have drugs some drugs given in oral and some drugs in parenteral route if they are given in oral route we have a clue here if you find the letters or oral or it means those drugs are given through oral route so some of the examples include cephaloridin where you have or there cefaclor where you have another or there right so these are some of the important mnemonics pertaining to cephalosporins